Yeah, I guess there's different versions of it, but in an abbreviated form, basically, Sina is the young girl um, who finds a tuna and begs her father to let, you know, parents to let her raise it as a pet, and um, so she she raises the tuna, and the tuna gets bigger and bigger and into adult size and the, the tuna becomes obsessed with her um, and wants to follow her everywhere and she then goes into this, she starts fleeing and goes to different villages and her families take her in but this tuna just keeps following her and is, but in the end um, the family come and the, the men of the village come and you know to kill the, the tuna and the tuna begs and says you know again Amavaenga you know his last will um, it says he asks that um, you know that he be buried and and that out of whatever grows out of it will be you know please take care of it because and so this is what they do they bury it and they out of this um, the burial plot comes grows a coconut tree ah, the first ever coconut tree in Polynesia and so you know if you look at the the shape of the tuna, the trunk and the head and that. But the the thing, the real thing is the coconut itself. Uh, so the tree becomes the tree of life, but the coconut itself, well, you know, when, when you drink the coconut, there's three points on it. Uh, you've got only one of them opens. Uh, and so, you know, that idea of kissing, the face-to-face. -face, uh, mm. So it's, you know, it's an endearing love story in the end in some sense, but, you know, it could also be quite a troublesome story in between. But again, you know, he that's his taulanga. Uh, the tuna makes an offering and part of his redemption is that he makes this offering of himself. Uh, um, yeah, so it's, it's um, I guess, in the work that we do, you know, in the community, it's about, you know, when we've done wrong, we can still redeem ourselves, we can make that sacrifice. So. Um, I'm really interested in the character of Sina, you know, which appears, you know, across the Pacific, everywhere. Ina, Ine, Hina, you know, and always associated with the moon. Um, and, you know, that's not necessarily something that's mentioned, you know, in the traditional version of the story, but it's Sina and water, and the moon is, you know, it's really strong imagery. Yeah, that's all also sort of connected. Mm. Um, what, what do you know about the Whangongo around Sina as the moon goddess? You know, before the Gregorian calendar, we marked time in terms of the Ma Sina. Uh, so in that sense, Sina's being is still marking time with us. Uh, and from a month, you know, we there's different um, parts, there's different... Um, you know, parts of the moon, the waning moon, the, all that sort of stuff. Uh, and those in itself are part of a series of, um, you know, month, you know, uh, things that happen in the in that monthly cycle. Eh? And remember, um, in, in, in the legends, you know, it was to do with famine, and that's how Sina became the moon, uh, was swept up into the moon. Because in some stories, even um, Takwitea is, you know, Sina, that who then gets translated to Tapuitea. I've seen that, you know, in some of the legends of some villages. Mm -hmm. uh, um, so that we see the intercrossing inter of these deities. Uh, um, but I think what they're ultimately saying is not whether one ends here and starts mm -hmm. here. It's that the, that in all these whangungu, all these stories, the, the, the message is the same. You know, mm -hmm. soli leva, uh, if you've transgressed, make a way back, maintain relationships. They're very oh, smart, our ancestors, yeah. very, very smart. So the same moon is also the that guides the voyaging. Uh, so there's mm. the land, the food, the harvest, but also mm. the moana. Uh, so the moana is part of our part of our, um, you know, our pantry as well, because, mm. you know, we fished there, you know, there are certain um, fish that are only available at certain times of the moon. Uh, um, there are certain waves that come at a certain time. So all of that is in balance. Uh, and, and again, that idea, we look to the heavens, hey, there's the heavens, the, the um, langi uh, and papa, uh, that those things, and we are the humans, you know, that inhibit inhabit those those two worlds uh, um, that are for our purposes, and, but then we are for their purposes, uh, that we as humans are for the purpose of the, the, the environment and the purposes of the heavens. Uh.
just as much as they are they exist for our purposes. Mm -hmm.